morning everybody so we got a lot of rain last night the creek is obviously up quite a bit um i kind of set up for that not this much water though this pocket set still there nothing in it see the wire and this is the one with that feeder stream coming in i set two days ago i see something floating it's a little big me and mink what, the, what is that let's see here raccoon and he is a wet mess all right so he drowned ain't no coming back from that is there I probably would have let him go I mean he's a good size he's wet but, you know, is what it is. So that's not bad. We'll take him. The water level is going to lower again, so I'm going to... Set, reset it and then move everything around tomorrow morning we got some other pocket sets to make well check slippery brand new traps so anyway I hope everybody's morning's going good I'm gonna put this back in there and then we're gonna move on to the next so, yeah, nice coon. So here's that culvert. I'll just let that possum go and coon trail comes up through here. Um, I'm making a crappy example of a dirt hole right now. Um, there's a rock, dug a, that's our backing. I dug a hole underneath it. Um, so the bait and lure, put your coon lure down back there. And then I don't have any cotton balls or dirt screens for the pan, so you don't want your dirt to fill up underneath. So I just cram some leaves up under there so the dirt fills in and the pan will still be able to set off when it puts a foot on it, okay? Now, you want this lo to be lower than the regular ground. Make sure it's in good. I don't have a sifter on me because I'm actually doing pocket sets and uh, muskrat traps today. So, we got this sand, it didn't freeze as bad. Set off last night and it was only 20. Kind of blend it in. Don't want any sticks over top of it. And then so, you know, there you go. Um, pretty basic set. Coon comes in to investigate, tries to stick his hand down there, and I put it off center out to the front, you know, about five inches, six inches, and then they, you get a front foot catch usually. So that's a uh, dirt little, you know, easy dirt hole set for creek bank. Usually catches them. I uh, get about one every day. So, all right, moving on. Go up all right, so we're out of the creek. Everything flooded. Um, got more rain and ice than I anticipated, so. A lot of my stuff is under the water, so I'm going to remake them tomorrow when the water level lowers. Um, I made a dirt hole set up here. We've got a coon trail coming in a culvert. Huh. There's a grinner. I'm gonna let him go. His foot's not broke. So, get him up. He's a big possum too. 
Yeah, buddy. So, yeah, good size possum, a lot of white on him. We're gonna go ahead and let him go. There's no sense in killing them. They're actually good. They, uh, I mean, they're only worth like 50 cents. So I ain't skinning it. Um, his foot's not hurt, so. These guys actually eat a lot of insects. Or actually, they can't get like Lyme disease and stuff because their their blood doesn't get warm enough or something like that. Um, I don't have a problem with them. Uh, if he was a monster. I probably would have kept him, but you know he's not hurt. Might as well let him go. I'm not just gonna you know just kill something just to kill it. So, but I had a dirt hole set right here. Try to get him out of here. Oh. oh. He'll go on his own, I guess. So we're just going to remake this set. <clears throat> go, buddy. Don't tell nobody. All right? Just between me and you. So... I'm going to remake this set and move on to the next. Okay, here's that culvert. I'll just let that possum go and coon trail comes up through here. Um, I'm making a crappy example of a dirt hole right now. Um, there's a rock. Dug a, that's our backing. I dug a hole underneath it. Um, so the bait and lure, put your coon lure down back there. And then I don't have any cotton balls or dirt screens for the pan so you don't want your dirt to fill up underneath so I just cram some leaves up under there so the dirt fills in and the pan will still be able to set off when I put their foot on it okay now you want this look to be lower than the regular ground make sure it's in good I don't have a sifter on me because I'm actually doing pocket sets and uh, muskrat traps today so we got this sand, it didn't freeze as bad. Set off last night and it was only 20. Kind of blended in. Don't want any sticks over top of it. And then so, you know, there you go. Um, pretty basic set. Coon comes in to investigate, tries to stick his hand down there, and I put it off center out to the front, you know, about five inches, six inches, and then they, you get a front foot catch usually. So that's a uh, dirt little, you know, easy dirt hole set for Creek Bank. Usually catches them, I uh, get about one every day. So, all right, moving on, GoPro, stop recording. Well, guys, nothing in the muskrat trap today. We got one little one. Um, getting about, they said one to three inches of snow. So, hopefully I can get in and redo those pocket sets tomorrow. So we got a raccoon, a little muskrat, and a grinner. So, thanks for tuning in. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and stop and subscribe. Hit the like button, do a comment down below. Thanks everybody who supported me. Um, time to go get dried off and dry out this coon. But uh, yeah, I would have let him go if he was still alive. I mean, he's a decent size. So I'm not going to let him go to waste. going to dry him out. I'm checking out this beaver hut that's over in the corner. You guys can't see it, but it's right back along on cattail. So we'll check that out in December. Um, well, that's it for today's checks, and I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Catch you at the water.